Hi guys, today we're going to look at factorizing quadratics when the coefficient of x squared is bigger than 1. So what I mean by that is a quadratic you know was of the form x squared plus bx plus c. So this was our general expression for a quadratic. But we always had 1x squared. Now, when we've got more than 1x squared, our um, method changes a little bit. Things get just a little bit more complicated, okay? So, in general, for a quadratic expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, what we need to do is as follows. Step number one, we have to find AC, so A times C. In my case, that's 6. And remember that the sign belongs to the number after it, so it's positive 3. Because if it was negative 3, it would have been a bit different. Right. Then, step 2 find the factor pairs of. AC. So what pairs of numbers multiply to make 6? And remember, you've got to think of your negative numbers. So in my case, I've got 1 and 6, 2 and 3, minus 1 and minus 6, minus 2 and minus 3. And then, step 3, choose the pair that adds to B. So in my case, again remember about the sign, B is positive 5, so this is my pair, 2, 3. Now what we do is we're going to rewrite our original expression 2x squared, but instead of 5x, I'm going to write plus 2x plus 3x. So where does this 2x and 3x x come from? From the 2 and the 3 that we've chosen from our pair, because 2x plus 3x is 5x, and then plus 3. And then what you do here, once you go to this point, is you're going to split the expression in half. So I've got the left half, the right half, and I'm going to factorize each of the halves separately, fully factorize. So if I factorize here, Mm, the biggest number that goes into 2 and 2 is 2, and then I've got an x as well. So this is 2x that multiplies x, so 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2x times what makes 2x? 1. Plus, because I've got plus there, and then factorize this bit here. So this is 3 brackets x plus 1. And if you've done things correctly, what you will notice is that you get the same bracket on either side. So you can factorize, you can treat the bracket, think about the bracket as being A or Y. It's, it's just one thing. So it's X plus 1, which is multiplying 2X and 3. And that's how we factorize a quadratic expression where the coefficient of x squared is bigger than 1. I suggest you take notes and do this a number of times. Now, one thing to note is that really it doesn't matter the order in which you write the components of the middle term. So here, instead of writing it like this, I could have written 2x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 3. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it makes more sense to put the 2x with the 2x squared and the 3x with the 3, because then you've got the 2 and the 2 and the 3 and the 3, and you know they're going to factorize together. But it doesn't actually matter. I've switched the order just to show you. Let me do exactly the same thing. Split in half, and I'm going to factorize here and there. Here, the only thing I can factorize is the x. So I've got x brackets 2x plus 3. And here, I cannot factorize anything because 2x and 3 do not factorize. 
so plus 2x plus 3. But notice that I've got 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3. So I can factorize out 2x plus 3, which multiplies x, and then what do I need to multiply 2x plus 3 in order to get 2x plus 3? 1. And I get the same answer as I did before. So in fact, the order in which you put the middle terms doesn't matter, although perhaps for a lot of you it may make more sense to have the, the matching coefficients 2 with the 2 and the 3 with the 3. But effectively, that is it. Again, take notes. Good luck. I'll see you later.